Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can play Google Stadia on an iOS device. Now, as you may or may not be aware, iOS doesn't really allow for any game streaming services, so you can't get anything like the NVIDIA GeForce Now, you can't get Google Stadia, Project xCloud from Microsoft, you don't really have really any options for game streaming services, that's kind of until now with this little workaround. Now I have done a ton of videos here on the channel with Google Stadia, it's actually quite a good service with regards to the streaming side of things, yes you do have to pay for games maybe multiple times if you already own them, because you can't import your own library and things, which isn't necessarily the best thing, but in regards to the actual streaming and game performance, it's up there with some of the best. Now the way this is going to be done is actually by using an application downloaded from the App Store called Stadium. Now this is kind of a little bit of a workaround and it does actually require inputting some lines for addresses for URLs and things, so definitely keep that in mind, they will all be linked in the description down below on the Reddit page though, so it's actually quite a simple process once you know what you're doing. So first off you want to head over to the App Store and download Stadium, it's a free application, super simple to use. When you actually then launch Stadium you want to enter the primary URL as this, and again it will be linked in the description down below, and also then you want to have the user agent as well, again all of this will be in the description down below so you can just copy and paste it, super simple. Once you've done that, head over to the menu and then you want to go to the authentication section, go to this Google website, enter information so that it basically logs you in. And then once you've signed into your Google account, you can then just click on go home and when the page refreshes, you're then going to have Google Stadia as you would see it on your desktop browser. Now with regards to game performance, it actually performs extremely well. Now for me, I actually cancelled my Google Stadia subscription for the Pro service, so I've only got one game on here at the moment, which is Doom 64, and it plays extremely well. Obviously it's going to perform exactly like it would do on desktop, or if you were to have a standalone application. Now don't get me wrong, occasionally there is a little bit of stutter from time to time, but nothing really too major, and it performs exactly as you would expect it to. And to be honest guys, that's actually kind of going to do it for this video on how to get Stadia on iOS devices. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know down below that like button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you can also thumbs up the video by hitting that like button below. If you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And once you are subscribed, turn on those notifications so you get notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.